there. Today I'm going to talk about something I really enjoy using that a lot of people don't know much about, and that is um, library filters. Now, the only one I'm going to focus on is the attribute and to you to isolate the virtual copies. And uh, we need to be in the grid view. And right now I'm in the loop view. So I'm going to change to the grid view by clicking G on my keyboard. I could also come down here and hit this little icon. Either one works. So I'm in the grid view, and I'm I'm actually operating inside a collection. A collection exists only in Lightroom, not on your hard drive, not in your folders, only in Lightroom. It's just a virtual collection, a grouping of photos that I have decided I wanted to group together. So I'm in the collection, and I've actually made a copy. You see they both have 16 in it. There are five virtual copies, two up here and three down here. You know it's a virtual copy when it has a little turn up at the bottom left-hand corner. So it looks like a page has been turned up. That's a virtual copy. So what I want to do is I want to isolate those so I can get rid of them because I don't need them anymore. And to do that, I'm going to come up and click on Attribute. I'm going to Attribute up here. And we have all these different options, but I'm going to go way over here to the right side. And then we have Kind, and that's what I'm going to click, and it's the middle one. So Kind, and here we have, it's um, I think it's All Kinds, or Master Photo, sorry. And then the Virtual Copy, and then that's Film, I believe, or Video. So I'm going to click on Virtual Copy. And now only my Virtual Copies are showing. And so I'm just going to highlight them and hit so Command-A on a Mac or Control-A on a PC. Or you can come up and do Edit, Select All, it works too. Or I could have um, clicked on one, hold down my Shift key and clicked on the other end. So if I start at the beginning, I hold down my Shift key and click on the end and vice versa. So once I do that, I'm going to hit Delete. Now it's going to ask me about syncing because I'm using Lightroom Mobile and stuff like that. And I really don't need these to be synced because I've used snapshots, right? So I don't care about these virtual copies. So I don't want them to remain synced. And so I'll get rid of them. Now they're gone. But notice that they're only gone from this collection, not the copies. And the reason I wanted to say that is because say you have an, one image in three different collections and you've edited them for different purposes and you've made virtual copies. So if you delete a virtual copy from one collection of a particular photo, it's not going to pull that virtual copy, a virtual copy related to the photo out of another collection. Or it could be the exact same one, right? But it didn't pull them out of this collection. So the collection's going to hold together. However, if I delete the master photo out of one collection, it does not delete it out of the other, but if I delete it out of the catalog, so if I'm in the catalog and I go and find that particular picture and I delete it, it does suck it out of the, collection, out of the collections, okay? But when we delete out of collections, it's, they, don't, they don't talk to each other. Um, I, so last thing I'll say is if you're going to do, well, you want to find all of your virtual copies, all of them for the entire catalog, then you want to click on catalog. So I'm up here at the catalog, you see I've got a lot, I've got 43,000 pictures. So I'd hit attribute and then virtual copy and it shows me all my virtual copies. And there's like 373 and I, I know that because I, um, of this right here, or 355, there we go, that's how many there are. Um, but that's how you can get rid of the virtual copies. And there's reasons I haven't deleted those, I probably will eventually. But um, it does help me um, keep my collections, that's what I particularly like, keep my collections nice and tidy and neat. So when I'm done editing or something like that, I just get it out of there. Now, if you're wondering, well, how you're getting rid of your edits? I'm not getting rid of my edits. My edits are here. So if I come to this picture that had three virtual copies, right? Go to develop. If I come down here to my snapshots, there they are. There's my edits. So there is Bashful, Bomb Pop, and Frenchie. So I have, those were, those were the virtual copies. I made three virtual copies, so I had three versions that I could export at once. And the, you know, these are not my photos. These are ones that um, Laura had obtained from a, a talented photographer, and you know, he's allowing us to use them. So these are not mine. But let's say that she had edited these photos, and there's like three versions, and she could send them to her client and say, well, which one do you like the best? So that's why I like using snapshots is that I can get rid of the virtual copies and all my edits stay with the original photo. So that's how you can use the library attribute filter right there and then the kind and isolate your virtual copies.